Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Box Natasha and today I have another reading vlog for you guys and that is of Chain of Gold. I finally picked up Chain of Gold and I couldn't be happier. I think it's gonna be a new favorite but I'm just terrified of picking it up because it's huge but I also love Cassandra Clare and Misty's characters and just because I keep seeing the hype surrounding of, uh, of Chain of Thorns I decided to pick it up so let's just get straight into it. I have been trying to pick up Ten of Gold for a few years now and I'm so happy that this, uh, the time has finally come and with my like I think it's gonna, I'm just gonna continue reading to do with Ten of Iron and then we'll see. As of now I'm uh, reading it uh, via audiobook and uh, sometimes physical. I keep switching it up so I don't get a reading slam or burnout but so far I'm enjoying it so far. So. Let us jump into the next update. So I'm here for an update. I have started reading Ten of Gold again, and I'm just read page one hundred and fifty, and I'm having the best time. I'm also annotating, and I'm having so much fun. I'm loving all these uh, characters. They are hilarious. Like James is massive, dynamic is amazing, and Thomas. And I really, really love Cordelia. At first, I was like, uh, I was liking the, uh, Grace a lot, but now I don't like. I find her, I find her super annoying, and I prefer uh, Cordelia so much more. And I can't wait to see the romance develop more. And basically, I'm having so much fun reading this book. I will uh, probably go ahead and also pre re uh, also order Ten of Iron, so we'll have the ready to go when I finish it. But so far, I'm having so much fun. So I'm back for another clip and, and I am about 40% with Chain of Gold, I'm annotating it as well. So I'm currently on page 274, chapter 11. Uh, the other tabs here are to mark chapters that I want to read. And yeah, so far I am completely loving this book. I am so happy to be back in the Sarah Hunter world. I missed it so much. I mean, of course, and, and when Will and made an appearance, I totally had forgotten that we were going to get to see him again. And I started crying. I mean, I missed him so much. And I love how happy he is now with Tessa. Even though Jem is not there, they, we can still feel his absence. But we get to see his brother Zachariah. Yes, Brother Zachariah, and we get to see how Will and Tessa are feeling that the fact that Jem is now a, a silent brother. I'm so sorry for I keep forgetting terminologies because it's been a while for me with Sarah Hunters, but yeah, I love Cordelia. I have to admit that at first I was a little, I was liking a bit Grace just because of her background with James, but that quickly turned into hate because I really don't like her. I have a theory, so I'm gonna say it here because it is a reading vlog. So I think, let me read my tab so I can be positive. I believe that when Grace gave the bracelet to James to where there was a spell or something there to make him have uh, develop feelings for her. And even though he is already in love with Cordelia, so that's why I think he is experiencing uh, pains when he kisses her, or how he, f he never thinks about her when basically they're not together, and he still uh, really he loves Cordelia because every time Cordelia appears or even thinks about her, he has a the best smile, and basically he he is like a man in love. But there is something weird in his relationship with Grace, so yeah. 
Um, I love our group, Matthew, Thomas, even Alistair. I like all of them. They are the best. Their interactions are just so hilarious and I love reading about them. This scene that I read recently was super fun. I mean, they were talking about something and Matthew said something incredible. And here it is, page one and one hundred and ninety-eight. I'm gonna read just before the quote. But James has never done anything to her," said Christopher. His brows, his brows knitting together. He's a herondale," said Thomas. "That's enough. That's ridiculous," Christopher said. It is as if one was bitten by a duck, and years later one saw a completely different duck, and ate it for dinner. Called it that revenge. I mean. It's amazing. I love them so much. They are hilarious. Also, I love uh, Odilia's and Lucy's relationship. I can't wait to see them become Parabatai. And I love also James's Matthew Parabatai relationship. And they are the best. Also, picking up sing- signals from Alastair and Thomas. I'm not sure how that one will go. But so far, I'm, I'm sort of sipping them. And I hope that I am right. But if I'm not, it's okay. I would, I would like friendship as well. So, uh, yeah, I just finished the, the chapter uh, where Grace has asked James to marry her out of the blue and basically run away together and not be shadow hunters, basically be strict of their marks. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? And James was like speechless. I was like, wow, the nerve of this girl. I mean. Even if he does love her, being a shadow hunter is part of his identity. She can't really ask him not to be a shadow hunter because that's the way he was raised. And just because her, uh, she didn't, uh, she wasn't raised that way, that doesn't give her the right to take him away from his family, friends, parabatai. And I mean, that's just cruel. And I think something is going on there. And basically, that is her conscience uh, bleeding through, trying to escape everything. So. I guess we'll see. So that's it for my update so far. I will keep you guys updated. Um, I'm currently reading the audiobook as well as the physical. Depends on my mood, but I am really enjoying it. back for another update i know it's the same setting but this is the best i can do at the moment because i really want to uh, have like over the standing so i don't have a like a high enough setting so this will have to do but yeah excuse my effort just it's pretty cold here these days because it's freaking winter and i mean it's just it's really really cold but back to my update i'm currently on page 438 or oh, in chapter 18 of chain of gold and i'm loving it definitely five star feelings and uh, so far we have had so many developments we have james and cordelia kiss and i mean it started off like Something that they needed to do in, in order to distract the person that walked in the door, but then it quickly turned out, out of control and I was so here for it. But of course, Cordelia doesn't know how James is feeling and James really doesn't know how he's feeling. And I have to say my theory was correct and I'm so happy about that. And I, it still hasn't completely been proven, but after Grace is sort of uh, enchanted Matthew into kissing her, by the way, so gross. I mean, it's so violating. I mean, I hated her for that, and I don't see how anyone could love her for after what she did to Matthew. But and as well as love Matthew, he's my sweetheart. But yeah, I mean, uh, sidetracked here. So yeah, I think that Grace uh, used this enchantment on James's brain in order to sort of push him back from the world and not be super engaged 
as the, he was before and basically to make his life revolve around grace and now that the bracelet and the spell is going he's like awake and feeling all these different emotions so much more heightened and he keeps a uh, having intense emotion towards uh, cordelia and starts noticing some stuff about matthew and a lot of other uh, personal things uh, to for the group and his sister family everything basically and i just love that because we finally get to see the real james and not the one that grace made us watch also by the way how uh, how disturbing how an evil person can be to ask a person to basically betray their identity their family and everything and just to uh, to prove that he loves you i mean that is definitely not love i mean the nerve on the grace to ask uh, james to uh, give up being a sorrow hunter and be stripped of his marks just so he can prove that he loves her was just outrageous and i was definitely feeling cordelia's anger and i could so much relate to her i mean it was super frustrating and i'm so happy that james said no and i think that was his real self breaking through the spell uh, because he brought his family cordelia and everyone in his mind and i think that is uh, the reason also i'm loving a cordelia analysis re uh, relationship i love how cordelia actually really cares about him and alistair as well but they do have a lot of obstacles to overcome there is a lot of trauma in their family and that cordelia didn't know about that we get to find out in this chapter that i just read because her father is actually drunk and alistair has spent his entire life protecting her from that so she can have a childhood that he didn't that was like super sweet also, we found out that Alistair and Charles are in this secret relationship and now that Charles is actually marrying Grace, he supposedly is doing it so he can be with Alistair, which I think he's uh, such a liar. I mean, he's using uh, Grace just as Grace is using her and he as well uses Alistair for his own pleasure. And I just wish Alistair can wake up and see that there are so, so much... Uh, there is so much more good people out there than Charles. I mean, i picking up against uh, vibes from him and Thomas, and I'm so here for that. Also, I love how open Cordelia is to the fact that her brother is into men. Also, how supportive wa she was when Matthew told her that he's uh, bisexual and absolutely loved that. And I I have connected so much with all these different characters, except maybe Christopher, we haven't seen him much. But I really love how similar he is to Henry and how he makes the stuff blow up and everything. Also, we got a surprise visit from Magnus Payne. And I'm just so happy that Magnus is such a constant presence in every single Saga Hunter book. He, because he's uh, immortal, basically, he is able to make appearances to all these different timelines in the books. And I just love that so much. And I just can't wait to finish this book. But I know there is going to be a huge cliffhanger. But I'm so happy that I have Chain of Iron ready. So I will keep you guys updated. Probably two more updates and then Chain of Iron. So wish me luck. Hi guys, so I just want to give you like a small update. I still haven't continued with Channel Gold. I have been busy for the past few days, but I am planning on finishing it. Uh, I will start again Monday. Now it's the weekend, Sunday, so I am hoping to finish it in the, in the next two days and then continue with Channel Baron. So far, I'm having the best time, but I keep seeing some spoilers for Channel of Thorns. And I'm really scared because I think Matt is gonna die and I love Matt so much. I don't want him to die, he's my favorite. But I'm just gonna, just gonna hope for the best. I only have about like 200 pages left, I'm not sure. I'm on page 441. So like 150 pages, something like that. But I am really, really excited to continue with the series. And I think it's gonna be a favorite, depends on the last book.
Hey everyone, uh, Tuesday hair is a bit of a mess, but I just, want, I just want to let you know that I did some progress last night on Chain of Gold. It's been a, a couple of weeks since I've been able to read it because I've been super busy with everything and basically I had no time to read it like at all. So last night I, I read about 100 pages, 50 pages, some, somewhere along the side of that. But it was super late, so I stopped. So right now I'm gonna buckle up because I have 80 pages left and then we're finishing it. And I'm coming back for an update. So keep an eye out. So it's official. I just finished reading Channel Gold and I couldn't be happier. I will definitely jump straight into Chain of Iron just because of these cliffhangers and everything. I just can't wait to dive into the story more. Also, I'm a little disappointed that my, my Matthew has developed feelings for Cordelia, but even though I see them more than Cordelia and James, I think that Matthew deserves to be happy and not just pine over Cordelia that clearly has strong feelings for James. Also, it was super heartbreaking was the scene between Matthew, Alistair and Thomas that Thomas found out about the rumors that Alistair spread for the, his parents and it was just heartbreaking because Alistair did that in order to protect himself like he confessed to Cordelia a few days back. Also, uh, it's just so heartbreaking to watch James and Cordelia be married because I know, we know that James is in love with her and Cordelia has, is in love with him but, there is, but Grace did the uh, that thing with the bracelet and it's official my theory was correct and from the moment that uh, Grace went to see James I was like no no this is gonna happen again and I can't believe it and as soon as he snapped the bracelet back into his wrist I was like no and I was screaming and crying I was like I, I was so I was cursing so badly because I really hate it Grace I start, my theory is that the demon Belial didn't actually weekend from Cortana because he's tethered into the into the world basically it's Jesse and Jesse's body and soul so I can't wait to see if that is true but so far five out of five stars can't wait to start with the channel Baron. I really want to see uh, James come back to himself I can see we can see him fighting in there every time he thinks about Cordelia he is a little bit of self who breaks through and I think I'm really hoping that Magnus uh, notices something different or at least Cordelia starts looking into it more with Matthew because she already can tell that something is different with James and I really am hoping that they will be able to help him because it's super simple they just need to remove the stupid bracelet and burn it but yeah and i really hope that grace gets what's coming to her because she, she acts like she's in the scene as a bystander that basically wants to protect her brother and keep herself safe from her mother but she is actually destroying so many lives in the process and and i'm really sorry about james cordelia because they just got crossed in the crossfire and just also, I, one of her scenes was uh, the end where Will and Cordelia danced and I was like, I wish I could be dancing with Will Herendel, that is my greatest wish and how he was cracking jokes and he was being his charming self and everything and how when uh, James and Cordelia announced their engagement, Will was like, I can't wait to tell Jim and uh, oh my god, I just love watching this small interactions between with Gem and Tessa and just the best oh, and I can't wait to continue with the series and I keep uh, hoping for a happy ending for Matthew but the more I read about him the more I'm pretty sure that he's gonna die in the end of the series and that is gonna, just gonna destroy him. So that's it for my reading vlog, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I know I have. I It took me uh, about a month to read this book and my life is forever changed. I can't wait to continue with the series. I have no idea if I'm going to film more vlogs for this series, but I guess we'll see. So I would really appreciate if you guys check out my Instagram. My link in my handle is Books with Natasha. And like, subscribe, and stick around. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post. And I will see you for my next video soon. Bye! <laughs>
I'm not afraid.